viewers welcome to our channel learning p6 today we are here to discuss about how to customize bottom layout and activity details tab it's so simple but too many planning engineers don't know how to customize this tab as well and especially for the beginners it's too important to know how they can customize the activity detail tab or customize the bottom layout i have already opened my primavera p6 please open it and go to the this button you can see here where is my cursor click on it it will be shown here at the bottom and this tab is called as bottom layout or activity detail tab how you can hide first of all as i already i hide this tab just right click on it and hide this window it will be hidden and then this is how you can hide to see your program full look then click again on the same button this is mostly when you will install a new software there is only two or three tabs general and status then we can add other tabs here assign and then calculate and update the for the progress it's so simple right click on here and go to the customize activity detail activity detail is here course if you want to code discussion expenses feedback notebook predecessors relationships resources lists steps successors summary user defined fields and wps and documents so the main are which we required generally are predecessors then successors and uh, relationships it's easy resources okay these are necessary which we required for the every program of work to are assigned after moving from here double click on it or just select and by clicking this button you can move all here if you are clicking on this button all were there then if you want to move only one from here to there then click on this button and if you want to move back like uh, this one and move back want to move back click on this one and if you want to move up or down click on this one this is how you can arrange your tabs up means expenses will show period to this one just close this tab from here general these activity details code activity name project name activity type duration type activity type you can change from here duration type you can change from here duration percent uh, percent complete type you can change from here activity calendar you can change from here and then wvs code you can change from here if you want to change responsible manager you can write here and primary resource you can change from here this is general and then status as i already defined in my other video of the progress updates you can manage like that then predecessor predecessor of this activity is this one and you can remove and assign from here and if you want to go to your predecessor activity then go to the predecessor activity then if you go to again the predecessor activity of this activity then you can click again go to this is how you can manage the predecessor and then successor you can assign an other successor you can remove other successor from here easily and then you can go to the successors then the relationship this is relationship where you can see the predecessors 
and successors in two tabs. If you want to assign more successors or more predecessor, you can use the same method assign remover go to assign remover go to if you have the too many predecessors and successors of one activity then this is easy to assign or remove or go to the predecessor and successor to analyze your project schedule where is the issue if you have any issue in your schedule then resources you can add resource from here add role from here assign by role from here and you can remove your resources from here as well and if you see here primary resource which one is then resource type then resource units remaining units original lag you can put your log lag from here start date you can change from here finish date you can change from here budget unit you can change from here and then if you want to customize resource column with the same thing you can change from here the resource column you can change this tab from here by click on it and you can see here you can put any of the data from here I can expand this one to understand you you can see here costs you can put these columns there dates duration to see the if you want to see or if you are in a, any trouble and you want to see by click your activity there and you want to see uh, the resources and dates and these all things here then you can move this one from here and you can also move this one like the uh, role i don't want here and uh, actual regular units I don't want here okay apply you can see here now it's short and also you can move from there if you want to actual units okay I want and I want uh, here actual units apply you can see here actual units are there after the finish tab this is how you can move your or customize your resources tab from here will rate WS user defined this all you can move or remove from here okay if I add any other uh, like notebook I want here notebook here and then summary also I want here apply expenses column is also there discussion if you want to put the discussion column there apply okay notebook this is your notebook you can write any of your discussion here notebook write any of comment or something topic by putting your topic at concentrate change management discussion which is mentioned here you can add by clicking lesson learned there is a one lesson learned and then you can right here modify you can write uh, a b c like that and then you can customize your languages and each and everything from here this is how okay you can see here your notebook and then the summary option labor unit this is the overall summary of your activity which activity activity which is selected selected activity a1030 this is then display units display costs and display dates expenses expenses if you want to add any expenses of your activity how much expenses is up to now for the activity you can expenses add from here expense item which one expense category you can see here administration equipment hardware consulting software facilities legal and professional material publishing training travel something you can add your expense here and end of activity start of activity uniform over activity 
then budget units how much budget units like uh, 100 and then price per unit uh, is uh, 10 and uh, budget cost is this one actual cost uh, you can say $1000 vendor name you can put here vendor name is uh, EDC auto complete actuals this is how you can add your expenses and then discussion discussion if you have any discussion about the show all newest to oldest okay if you have any of discussion about the, about the discussion you can go from here uh, here and write your discussion whatever your discussion for this activity you can write from here LA, let's start let's start let's start and then post it you can show from here who will comment on this one when uh, one minute ago I commented here then it will be show here this is the latest option to how you can uh, add your discussions and for the details on this one like one by one after the resources no, on notebook summary and expenses and discussion i will prepare detailed uh, lectures for this one how you can add your discussions in your primavera p6 software how you can expenses uh, put your expenses in primavera p6 software this is a short to how to customize customize your tab after the uh, these videos hopefully i will prepare the detailed videos for these tabs for notebook as well summary as well expenses as well discussion and for uh, how you can add your documents and uh, user defined fields step risks are you how you can uh, add your risks to the activities and feedbacks hope you will understand the video that how you can uh, how you can customize the lay bottom layout our activity detail tab thanks for watching please subscribe our channel share with friends like and comment on our channel videos Allah Hafiz